For one, I, for one I'm going to sell our useless items. We have a couple items that I honestly don't think I'm going to be using. And also, at the same time, get some item upgrades for everyone else. Oh, that crit, Wallace! Yes! Oh! Freaking twiddle that spear around your fingers. Oh my god, you nibble old fuck. Love you. Mm. No crit this time, but you know what, Wallace? <laughs> You're honestly putting in the work. I think I might still be liking you better than Kent and Sane, combat-wise, anyway. Alright. First of all, moving to Sane, visit here, get some you know, tips, maybe. You know, you should really visit the armory next door. Yeah, fighting- wait, fighting us in general, you need something to defeat Lodgren, right? Once we beat, maybe peace will return to Kyle Lin. Good luck to you. Oh, I can't shop there. Oh, well. Uh... It kind of sounds like there hasn't been like really that many levels where I, you know, I can like open up a chest with Matthew, but I'm pretty sure those will come, be coming later. Uh, let's see. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. I think I should keep Wallace here as a choking point, so that way no one can get through until like they started to like discover that we're, that like, what, what, what am I trying to say? So that way no one can get through, so that way we can just make our way peacefully down here. Play just a shoot for Sarah, so she can get mo her ass fucking moving, because you know, she's, she's a prim and proper little girl over here. Honestly can't never do any wrong. No, Urk would say otherwise, but she, she, she can't do any wrong. Right, Nils? Uh, sorry, I, I, I just joined you, like, a week ago. I, I I don't know. Yeah, there you go. You're right. Uh, let's see. Attack. There's, there's only freaking units uh, units here, so they're just gonna be destroyed by Wallace now. <laughs> With his chain axe prowess. Oh my god. Oh, all right. That should be it. Everyone else should be moving in. No damage. <laughs> I pity the fool. There we go. Mm. I have to make sure I also buy Wallace upgrades as well. While we're here. This is a general store. How okay. What do I have to sell here? I'm honestly never gonna be using Armor Slayer. I just sold that and I just realized something. I could have used that for Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright. Ooh, actually. However, we need to Oh, but that's not what I... <sighs> I'm going to buy this for Lucius. Okay. Alright. Alright. That was an idiot. <sighs> Alright. So, for you, Geese of an Armor Slayer. Hammers and axe. So, I'll probably give the hammer to Wallace when the time comes. I'm just an idiot. Uh, who has the hammer, actually? Dorcas, you have the hammer, real quick. Just trade. Wallace, give him the hammer. Oh, he can't use the hammer. <laughs> Wallace can throw us back the hammer. Um, actually, real quick. It's attack with fire. We should be able to kill him. Start moving ahead. Because we need to start making progress. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I am a literal idiot. I'm a fool. I'm a fake. I'm a fraud. Oh my god. God, I can't believe I freaking sold the Armor Slayer when we're going up against a unit that's saying like, Hey, maybe, you know, just just maybe you should, you know, use weapons that are effective against armor units, but no, Dragon's here think, 
like, armor units, uh, they don't exist, as he uses Wallace. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I am a blubbering fool. Play with Lucius, again, move forward, so Matthew can, or is, I think I gave it to Kent or Sane, one of the two, I honestly don't know anymore. Oh god, you. Give him his lighting. Wait. Just start moving down. I'll move Urk and Dorcas up forward with the rest of them. Hopefully, this should be the last bit. You know, reinforce. Oh my god, Wallace, you missed! Ah, oh, you disappoint me! Okay. <clears throat> first things first. I'll actually item real quick. What? Strength or magic? Fuck it, Lynn, use it. Strength increase. Boom, it's a permanent upgrade. Perfect. You know, let's attack again with the Iron Lance. It's gonna be a spear, so. Item. Move a lance equipped, okay. I mean, lance, not spear. What the hell am I talking about? Um, Sane's there. I'll move you here, because when. I want to. Just. Kill Kent up a bit so that way he'll be ready. Just in case of this armor unit, the surprising amount of, uh, surprising amount of damage. Uh, we have Will going up as well. Just start moving everyone in. Everyone. I'm freaking wasted money. I am an idiot. I honestly wish I could <laughs> take back everything that I did, but I couldn't. So, yay, go me. Attack with the Iron Axe. Please hit Wallace. It's 15% chance to admit. Okay, you hit this time. Thank God. So hopefully Dorcas will be able to finish off this freaking... This little, little boy over here. With his freaking axe. What, what's your hit? 82. Okay. Actually, when I get the chance, I gotta get Sarah to heal up Dorcas. Dorcas is almost below half. And then Eric, you know, just fall in behind. We're doing 10 damage, we're fine. This is fine. Can Sang, you know, can you? Yes! Okay. Now we have some breather room. We have time, you know, to organize our units, trade up items with one of another, heal up the units that we need to. So, first things first, we're running forward right away. Uh, Nils, how far can you go? You can go up to there, so we'll be able to get you to move one extra space, so we're just gonna start bum rushing Sarah. Just real quick. Come on, on the lay, on the Play a little piccolo. Come on. Get Sarah through this. Alright. And Sarah, just continue moving towards you know who. Um, move you here a bit so we can move Lindis closer. I don't think he should be going after us. We have freaking Kent following behind. With Will, just, everyone's coming. Everyone's coming. We're going to be leading out with Dorcas though because. Certain someone doesn't know how to freaking use a goddamn hammer, Wallace. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Ah, say! You're not like that stubborn fool, Kent. You're reasonable. Leave the child and doesn't stand on my side. You will go far in my service. That is a gracious offer, my lord. Quite. However, I am not rather fond of my friend, the stubborn fool. I'm rather fond of my friend, the stubborn fool, and if I am to pledge my service to any liege, I would choose the lovely Lady Lindis over the fool Lundgren, regardless of the risk. Fool, I will make you regret the decision. Oh, you missed! Oh, god damn it! Haha! <laughs> Those clouds, oh shit, it's about to rain again, dragon, hurry the shit up! Okay. Real quick. Move you here. Heal up Dorcas. Okay, we gotta get Dorcas in position. It's also good to know that he has a javelin. Um, Nils, can you? Yes, you can. Play a little piccolo for Dorcas so that we can start moving ahead. Because we need Dorcas to start doing the majority of the tanking. We're also going to be needing Sarah to follow me. But we don't need to really heal Sarah so he has a javelin.
Uh, wait. Um, I like you, Will, but I don't think you're able to take a hit from him. Same with Lucius, like, there's a lot of things I want to do, but we just don't have the defensive stats to do it. Just like seeing those more flavored text, I'll put them there. Because I would guess there's going to be some sort of text with them. Just end real quick. This is my realm, and you enter without my permission. You will not leave these lands alive. Okay, not really. Alright, no damage. Bitch, I'm in harbor to unit like you. Oh, boy. Okay, I lost a turn. Okay, that's all we need. Item. Freaking grab that hammer, equip it. Attack with that goddamn hammer. Oh, yes. Uh, ooh, this is... This can go either way. I miss. Please miss. No, no, you would hit. Why wouldn't you hit? Oh my god, Dorcas. Why? Um, give him the hand axe. Yeah, I can only attack with the hand axe, so that's why it's doing that for me. Alright. So we- Oh my god, Wallace! <laughs> oh, this is not making me feel any better, Wallace. Can I, like, even damage you with this? No, I can't. So I shouldn't even bother with that. Will, how much damage will you, not freaking Will, but Lucius, how many, oh my god, you will be one-shotted. Alright, no, we need to keep you in the back. <laughs> how much will you do, none, nothing, okay. Fuck. Okay, what we need is to start moving you, like, ever so slowly. You'll probably get one-shotted, but if, like, I need to heal someone, I can use you. Oh, but this is bad. Like, this is really, really bad. Who has the armor slayer? I'm thinking about it. Item. You don't. Item. I thought I gave someone. I thought I bought another armor slayer. I did. Okay. Just real quick. Um, I can rescue someone. That's not what I want to do. I want to trade with uh, Lynn over here. I want to give her the Armor Slayer. Alright, enter. You can attack Dorcas, my fur. Oh my god, you do so much damage. Oh my god, this is scary. Okay. Using lances, honestly, would not be smart putting Lynn in front of there. Like, with what needs to go on right now, like, I just need to start hitting, like, him, like, now. Like, I can't be playing around like this. Dude, because you have Volinary, right? No, you don't. Trade real quick. Take Wallace's, because he's not going to be needing it. However, then again, attack with the hammer, and please! Oh, but if you hit, I can die. No, that's not smart. I'm gonna wait with you, Dorcas. I'm gonna let him attack you, so you can do some chip damage to him. Oh my god, do we have any like other kind of like, range type of attacks we can do? Um, we have Urk. Can Urk's fire do anything? Fifteen. But, if, but I bet no, because like, I just want to. I don't want to risk like lose any freaking units and. Oh my god, I wish we had... Oh, you're healing. Of course you're healing. Oh my god. Please hit. Yes! Thank you, Torcus. Oh my god. He leveled up as well. I don't want to lose Sarah. We will use lose Sarah if we try to do anything with this fucking fool. Attack with the hand axe. Please hit him. Wallace hit him, yes! Oh my god. Item, please heal for a good bit. It's going to heal for a 10. If he crits, we might be dead.
Okay. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn, guys. Next turn. Alright. As long as we... If we hit him with this. This is our final attack. If we hit him... Yeah! Yes, Dorcas! Yes! That annoying little girl. Nothing but a savage from Sakai. The Colin Throne should be mine. <laughs> oh no, it should not be. Oh yes, Dorcas, level up. Oh my god, please get a good level up. One resist. <laughs> I would prefer defense, but you know, that one resist and then we minus that attack by one. Oh, Lynn, take your rightful place in the throne. Seize it. Oh. We've won! At last, I can see my grandfather! Lady Lindus, are you not? Wh who are you? I am so, some of the royal family. I received word from Kent and Sain when you first met. The Ludwig discovered the message and imprisoned me. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to your true home. Thank you. May I ask my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Don't be shocked by what you see. Lord Grant's been poisoning the Marquess meals for some time. His body's been ravaged. She's been bedridden for months. Oh boy. Who's there? I said no visitors. I will see no one. Ellipses. What are you doing here? Leave me to die. Blah. Um, pardon me. My name is... I'm Lindis. Uh, Lindis, you say, is that? My father was named Has uh, Hassar, chieftain of Lorca. My mother was Madeline. I was raised on the plains. Could it be... <coughs> come, come here. Let me see your face. Oh, yes. There is no doubt. You are Madeline's trueborn. <coughs> Grandfather. Lord Gwyn has told me that my grand that my daughter had died. My heir, you too. He told me you were dead. Thank you. Thank you for living. <laughs> I am blessed. <coughs> Mother and father were slain last year by brigands. I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Lindus, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, then there would have been no bandits. We would have lived together in perfect peace. Oh my god, but I'm an old fool. <coughs> Grandfather, my parents, my tribe. Our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly? But I had a life of happiness. Knowing that gives me so much joy. Thank you, Lindis. I can die in peace now. No, Grandfather, you mustn't say that. There's no avoiding it, Lindis. You talk too long! I've taken too much poison for too long. It's too late. Just for one final wish. Wrap me in twenty blankets, Lin- What? No. no, no wrap me! No! No, wrap me! <laughs> Be brave, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> Be brave, Grandfather. You'll recover, believe me. On the plains, we see that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I am with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me. Yes. You have so much to talk about. Walks to take, music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you. So much lost time we can recover. That does sound nice. Doesn't it? And what's your well? I can take you into the plains. I'll show you the endless sky and oceans of grass. I want to know the lands my mother's loved so much. The lands Lady Madeline loved. You're right. I still have quite a bit of living to do. Alright. Unwrap me, dragon. Come on! You can do it, grandfather. Lindis. Lady Lindis, do you honestly plan on remaining here? Tell me truly. Yes, until my grandfather is well. I can leave him now, I won't. The physician says that Lord Hawsons looks like a new man. It's like he that he has never it's like he was never ill. <coughs> it's all thanks to you, my lady. He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. Oh, oh, lady Lindis. What is it, Florina? I've been taken to the service of House Kalin. From here on, Lin. I mean, Lady Lindis, we'll be together as always. But you broke your leg, so... Like... Please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lin. But, like, seriously, you, you, you can't fight. Your leg is broken forever. 
The pixels I find for your house now, I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina. I'm happiest when I'm with you. But it's more important that I address you. Please. I suppose you just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you. I love you, Lynn. Okay. Oops, I mean, Lake Lindis. <laughs> oh, Farina. <laughs> well, Lake Lindis, I will say, I've decided to stay too. I've got my mama. Uh, they're moving here in two weeks, along with the cattle. So, that's good. Well, you plan on... Weren't you planning on returning home? Well, I was, but... Uh, I'm quite fond of Lindis' legion, you know? I can't possibly leave everyone behind. I'm not going to be you know, replaced by Wrath, aren't I? Right, Dragon? Right? Mm, sure. <clears throat> yes. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. I'm pleased to have you, Will. Thank you. Thank you, milady. Dragon, you're leaving, aren't you? No, I'm not asking you to stay. It's just, I'll miss you. No, you won't. You hated me in my 20 blankets, Lynn. When I found you in contrast on the plains, I had no idea we'd be together for so long. You helped us so much, I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master tactician, Dragon. Really? I mean, like, I left your one of your best friends to die. That is someone who's seen you at work. Yeah, Florina, I honestly didn't want her to fight to begin with, so... Thank you. <clears> Hold <throat> on. Oh, I got my throat's actually starting to hurt. Well then, take care. I... I hope to see you again. I'm sure that I will. Someday. Uh... I know this is not the end. This is the end of Lynn's chapter. We have 55 battles, 18 wins, zero losses. First bravery fulfilling the command. Ken is named Knight Commander of Kalin. It's honest, so the young one, but the no one desires his worth. Sane, 52 wins, zero loss, 200 wins. Sane earned the honor of being named Sub Commander of Kalin's Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs the authority and woos the villagers and girls, but she loves the citizenry. Farina, chapter 5, injures. Are not so severe that Fluna is to abandon Lynn's side. She has to travel with her to Kellen. When she recovers, she joins Lynn's forces as a mercenary. Alright. Will Archer of Farah. 20 battles, 7 wins. With his cherry outlook and his time to go lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Mark West Kellen's household. Kent is touching, teaching him manners, being a sworn man of Casa Kellen. Dorcas, 40 battles, 20 wins! Once Lynn's true heritage was recognized in Kellen, Dorcas returns to his home in Burn. There he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting the local bandits. Sarah, one battle. Ultimately, Urk succeeds in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Her uh, archaic tongue has become legendary. Urk, the wandering mage, 12 battles, 10 wins. His contract with Sarah complete. Urk sets off to Estonia. His time in Arsenal is just part of his training. He's got to see it, and he has returned to his mentor. Wrath, 17 battles, 14 wins. In celebration of following Lin's return to Kalin, Wrath slips out unseen wherever he has returned to Sake. Or has continued to work as a mercenary, no one knows. Matthew, the agnatic thief, which would have been used twice. Matthew vanished after the battle, and his whereabouts remain a mystery. Niels, the mysterious musician. Niels and his sister Ninian take leave for Castle Cullen. After a few days, he will make a traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere. Lucius, the traveling monk, 21 battles, 13 wins. Lucius studies in Cullen for a time, but he departs after receiving summoned to another land. He has since seen, been seen traveling the hard with a hard eyed mercenary. Wallace, 28 battles, 10 wins. For Wallace, Lynn's struggle only is his appetite for a battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy for his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so it may be years before he returns. Dragon the Tactician. Dragon leaves Lynn to continue his training. He plans on traveling to Larcia. Lynn refuses to say goodbye, believing in her heart that, will, that she will see him again. Ah, oh, what a nice little wrap up. Sadly, lady, you didn't accept my 20 blankets, so. Uh -huh. Lin sword fighter from Sakai. 38 battles, 18 wins, 2 losses. Lin now lives with her grandfathers, Lady Lindis of Castle Kalin. Under her loving care, Lord Hawson recovers. Now the two of them go for many years in walks of Kalin, whatever. Uh, uh, unclear, dry night. Lin can be seen. High on top a hill near the castle. Perhaps she's remembering the home of her youth. The Plains of Sake. Ah. 
That was a nice way to wrap it up. Here and Glynn's story. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Um, hello? Um... Wait one second. Uh, just saving that. All right, I will save my progress. However, that's gonna be it for today. This is not the end of the series. The end of Lynch chapter. I know there are two more storylines I can go through. That being of Ellie Woods and Hector's. I know they quite parallel each other. So I'm not sure who I'll do first. I'll probably eventually do both, but I think I might. I'm leaning more towards Ellie Wood. Just leave Hector for last. But if you enjoyed today's video, I'll probably actually split this into two parts because it is, this has been a pretty long recording. Remember to hit the like button down below because it helps me out greatly. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing and that you guys want more Fire Emblem content on this channel. And I've, I'm honestly enjoying it. I actually, I think I might go straight into uh, freaking Sacred Stones after this, maybe. Maybe. That's, that's a high maybe. But without further ado, I am Jack Ruiz. This was Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade or Fire Emblem GB, whatever you want to call it. Goodbye.